Hey man, I know I'm looking rough. It's all good though, cause this message I'm about to drop might get rough as well. So this is just preparing y'all. Look, I still got, I'm still freshly braided. It's just, I need a lineup. I'm looking rough, but it's preparing y'all for this message because this message might get even rougher. It might get just as rough, depending on your situation. But it's a chance that this message is going to get way rougher than all this. I want to discuss the topic today on the black man's inability to fit into this world that we live in today. So I saw a post on Facebook and it was a black man who stated he never felt like he fit into the world that we live in today. The post went viral. I don't know this man at all. The post went viral. Somebody else shared it that I seen. And he had a lot of comments, a lot of people agreeing, a lot of saying, people saying that they feel the exact same way. And I felt that way too. So it's not an uncommon thing. I'm pretty sure some of y'all and some of y'all family feel the exact same way. It's a large percentage of people that feels the exact same way. So the first thing that popped into my head was a high level conversation that I watched with 19 Keys and Dr. Wesley Muhammad. In this video, this video is about two hours long. I watched the entire video, but they had a small section where they discussed the black man's inability to fit into this world. Pretty much the same thing that I seen on Facebook. So that instantly sparked interest in my mind to share with y'all the knowledge that I just received just yesterday. Um, I thought it was I thought it was very powerful and I know some people need to hear this message. So Dr. Wesley Muhammad stated that we must embrace our inability to fit into the world that we live in today. We must embrace our inability to fit into the world that we live in today. And why is that? It makes sense when you think about it. When you get on social media, when you walk outside, when you with your your homeboy, or your home girl, whatever the case is, nine times out of ten, you have a huge a huge chance of dis distractions, you're getting distracted. You have a huge chance of um, hanging with people who are lost souls and being around people who are spiritually suffering. And why would I want to fit in to a world like that? Why would I want to conform to a world where people are lost souls? They're spiritually suffering. They live in lies. They're distracted. Why would I want to fit into a world like that? I don't, I hope you don't. So, and you might catch me glancing at my notes. I got plenty of notes over here, you know. I, I take notes. So, um, this is the reason why black men should divest any desire to fit into the world that we live in today. Just get it out your mind. Don't even try to fit in to the world that we live in today. It's wicked. I don't want to fit into a wicked world. You should be focusing on yourself, focusing on your family, and focusing on your community so that you can create any reality that you want. You need to be finding your purpose so that you can create the reality that God intended for you. He didn't intend for us to be lost souls. He didn't intend for us to be living lies. He didn't intend for us to be spiritually suffering. He didn't intend for us to be distracted. God intends 
his intentions for us were to be focused because God is focused. So create your own reality. And one of the last topics that they discussed what that Dr. Wesley Muhammad discussed on that topic. One of the last things that he stated on that topic was do not desire the seal of approval from this world because if you seek it and get it you will be cursed by God as a consequence. Now I don't know how I feel about God cursing people. I was always taught I've always learned and I always felt like God's intentions were to free people from sin and curse. So I don't know how I feel about him cursing other people. But what I can say is, excuse me, excuse me. What I can say is, I believe that some of the choices, actions, and decisions that we make can steer us away from God. And ultimately, we'll curse ourselves by moving further away from God, by trying to fit into the world that we're not supposed to be trying to fit into. If you're trying to fit into a wicked world, you're most likely steering away from God. You're getting further and further away from God. I don't want to fit into a world like that. So my question to you my question to everybody is, would you rather get money, be popular, and have the glitz and glamour while spiritually suffering? Or would you rather be a spiritual giant and suffer in the physical world? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. You know, like, share. Let me know what y'all think, man. I feel like this is a very powerful topic. I feel like a lot of people don't feel like they fit into the world. They're just trying to fit in. They just That's why they're in so, so many bad relationships. That's why they can't find their purpose. That's why they're so distracted. Because they want to fit into a world that we're not supposed to be fitting into. Not, th not in this day and age. We all know the world is crazy. So, why try to fit into that world? So, like I said, comment below. Let me know, would you rather Would you rather get money, have the glitz and glamour, and everything that comes with it, and spiritually suffer at the same time? Or would you rather be a spiritual giant and suffer in the physical world?